Hey guys, welcome to Saints TV, welcome to Post Game Chat with Jack Sinclair, thanks to Mosh. Uh, mate, that was a tough one. What, yeah. was your, what was your breakdown of that? Yeah, it was. Pretty disappointing the way we started the game. Felt pretty unpredictable out there. But yeah, we're trying hard to fix our ball use, but just not really on the same page. And um, yeah, probably led to them scoring pretty easily and us starting on the back foot. So it's always hard to come back. But I thought, yeah, we fought hard in the second quarter to get back in it. And then, um, yeah, again, I think we, we had our opportunities. It felt like going inside 50, but probably just butchered the ball a bit. Um, yeah, and they made us pay. So yeah, tough one again. Felt like. Yeah, we should have should have done better than what the scoreboard reflected. But um, yeah, I thought we fought to the end. We didn't give up, and um, yeah, just got to keep fighting to, to the end of the year. It's a long year, and yeah, hopefully we can turn it around. Yeah, they're a pretty stacked midfield in there. I felt like we rotated a few different boys through there. I think there was Liam Henry was in there at times. Mitchell was in there at times. Yourself, obviously. Is it still kind of a work in progress and getting that that midfield sorted on what work the balance? Yeah, it is, and you look at some of the other midfields we're coming up against, and they've been playing together for so many years, and um, yeah, it seems like every week we've got a bit of a different mix, but um, yeah, look, I thought I thought we fought hard in there, obviously Max Gorn got, got his hand to it, and he's going to flip it around, and yeah, it makes it pretty hard to play in there, really experienced mids, and yeah, they all work so well together, so that's what we're chasing, um, but yeah, I thought to the boys' credit, you know, we fought hard after the first quarter, I think we lost 4-5-1 at centre bounce, which is disappointing, but um, yeah, clearly a work in progress. Been a bit inconsistent throughout the year, obviously, you know, midfield and centre bounce clear and stuff. So, um, you know, hopefully the next few weeks we can get Crouchy back. Um, he's a really important part to that. And, yeah, Hunter Clark as well. So, yeah, we're still trying to find the right mix. Um, but, yeah, it's good for Liam Henry to get some exposure and, um, yeah, hopefully it can help us going forward. Yeah, I guess as tough as it was for the fans to watch, seeing Kingy run and jump, kicked his three. He's been under the pump all year from the fan base, from the media. I feel like... Maybe a bit unfairly so. What, what was your take on his game tonight? I thought he actually moved around well. He set up Mitch Owens. Yeah, I, th I thought he looked really dangerous. Um, again, we probably just didn't get it to him enough. Um, yeah, we had some opportunities to kick it inside 50, and we probably just stuffed around with the footy a bit. But yeah, he looks super dangerous one on one. Um, and again, at, at ground level, he probably dished a couple off. He, he could have had a shot himself. So um, yeah, I thought he's bounced back really well the past couple of weeks. And he's always going to be put under pressure. He's you know, such a good player. But yeah, we. Remember, he's, he's still so young, and um, yeah, I guess the way we've been moving the footy makes it pretty hard for him. But yeah, I've been really impressed the way he's sort of bought in and responded the past couple of weeks. And um, yeah, it's good to see him get get on the end of a few today. Last couple of questions: What was what was the message at halftime? Because I felt like maybe, particularly the fourth fourth quarter or second quarter, we took the game on that little bit more, which looked more natural for us. That's what we like to do. I assume that's the game we want to play. Yeah. Um, did Melbourne negate that in the first and third quarter? Or was that more just we didn't want to pull the trigger? Um, yeah, a bit of both. Like we always, yeah, we want to pull the trigger when it's there, but I think sometimes we we pull the trigger when there's yeah, blokes in the corridor and we yeah. we get scored against pretty easily. So it's always a balancing act. Um, yeah, I feel like in the first quarter, as I said before, it's just a bit unpredictable. And um, yeah, we're trying to get on the same page as to when we bite off those ones in the corridor and when we go long to contests. I feel like in the first quarter, especially. Um, yeah, we had some good one-on-one -on -one looks ahead of the ball, but we weren't taking it. And then Melbourne is so quick at getting numbers back. Um, so yeah, sort of stifled us going forward. But yeah, a work in progress, our offence. Um, but yeah, it seems like when the shackles come off a bit, we actually look pretty good moving the ball from end to end. Um, and it's always hard to start the game like that. You know, they're a really good defensive team. But um, yeah, I think we're just struggling to find that balance at the moment. Yeah, well, we've got next. West Coast next. What's the, I guess, the key takeout from the meeting with Ross moving into next week? Is it more of what we saw late in the game? A bit more of an attacking game plan next week? Yeah, a little bit uh, at the right time. Um, but yeah, they've obviously been going all right. Had a good win against the D's last week, so yeah, won't be taking them lightly for sure. It's going to be a tough road trip. It always is over there. Um, but yeah, I think for us, it's about just starting well with our contest. Getting the ball forward because yeah, I feel like our forwards are looking really dangerous when they get looks, but we're just not getting it there, you know, like in there enough. So um, yeah, we've been starting games pretty poorly, um, and again, yeah, we're, we're chasing getting on the same page with our boys. So um, defensively, I think I feel like we're going okay, like we're, we're fighting and scrapping, but um, yeah, it's just not all, all quite coming together at the right time. Yeah, last one, mate. Uh, just a quick message to the Saints fans that came out today. Obviously, it's a tough game to watch, but just a quick message for them. For that yeah. Moment, so. Yeah, no, it's, um, oh, it's nothing better than being at the G. So yeah, yeah we, a, we, we love being here and um, yeah, awesome to have the fans come along. 
Um, but yeah, really appreciate everyone sticking by us. I know it's been a frustrating year. We're, we're feeling it ourselves and, um, you know, it's not much fun <laughs> and we're not scoring many points out there, obviously, but um, yeah, we're going to need your support to turn it around in the back half of the year. You know, it's a, it's a long year and, um, yeah, look, I'm really confident we can turn it around. Um, you know, whether we make finals or not, that's it's not really on the radar right now. We just need to keep getting better each week and trying to get back to playing the exciting brand of footy that we want to play. Um, because we feel it out there as well. Like we want to enjoy ourselves too, and yeah, we're just we're not really uh, yeah, getting that out there, unfortunately. But um, yeah, no, we appreciate all the support. You know, we never really waver our footy club. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we've had a lot of tough times, and, and this year it has been as well. But um, yeah, we're certainly going to try everything we can to to turn it around in the back half of the year. Thanks, mate. Well, thanks a lot for your time, and um, good luck next week. Thanks. Mate.